Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn where things are getting dark and deep and intense and uh, heartbreaking. And we have to go to central projects now. We're about halfway through the facility. Well, halfway through this floor of the facility. Intruder! Whoa! Get well, it. I didn't know. Whatever you do, don't die now. Okay. That what well, that was unfair. I had no chance. I had no chance to To look for another way to restore power, but we have a bunch of sad things to listen to. Now, those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day, I enjoyed schooling them. But maybe I went in too hard on this poor uh, counselor. She was cute, and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor? Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Wow. Extinction? That's natural. Zero dawn? No, ma'am. That ain't. Ah. Heck, it's so unnatural, it'd be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. <laughs> she chewed one of her nails, too. Just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. I just swam through the floor. Like... That wasn't supposed to be an area that was deep enough for me to, like, actually fall through it, and I did. I was like, that's weird, and then I was like, ah, okay, there's a reason that was weird. Okay. That guy's in court, by the way. Zero Dawn. It is art, in a way. An expression on the grandest scale. But there is so much unfairness. 
Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Oh. Dr. Souvé? Christina Souvé? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the new materialists. But he once attended one of my tours. Another unfair chance. Of all the many people in their auditorium, that we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair, not at all. But for the sake of my family, for the sake of art, art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history and echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. It wasn't oblivion. just scientists. This opportunity, I must do this. They brought like the top people from every field to contribute their knowledge. Did you, did you make it, Tom? I hashed it out with them, what the point of Artemis was. I made it clear I wasn't on board for a global zoo. We haven't exactly proved ourselves to be great custodians in the past few thousand years. So the idea of a reconstituted biosphere, well, it's horrifying, isn't it? A complete horror show. We have no right to take a no. best guess. I did it again! But the alternative? Nothingness. <laughs> For then it would have been all this, and then nothing. And with Charles Ronson running the show, I respect him. He's got a passion to him. He's hot blood. Like you? So I said I'll do it. I'll put my all into this, literally. When the project is done, I'll take the medical option, thank you. Counselor said I might change my mind. I told him that he didn't know me very well then. For life's sake, I'll do the dirty work. But I want no part of this pathetic, attenuated future on offer. Yeah. I'm an outdoors man. Never did like the feel of solid state lighting on my skin. And a wee bit of a claustrophobe, anyway. I can see, that's another point. I didn't think about that, um, that once you're finished, you may just want to be done with it. And you don't, if you don't have, like, family and stuff, like, maybe you could save a couple of your friends, but at the same time, it's like, do you, do, do you want to live? Do you, do you want to delay the inevitable? You know? Like, and then, like, knowing, like, maybe, like, um, like, you uh, have younger siblings who are gonna, like, outlive you or something by uh, quite a large margin. And they're gonna be, who's gonna be the last one? Who will be the last human on Earth? You know? Like, I don't know if I'd want that existence. You know? I... And what's the point of living when you're just hiding? Like, do you... Do you do anything? Do you grow? Like, you raise kids in that? You know? Like, even if you can't have any more, and you, but you can save, like, your immediate family, like, would I want to raise my younger siblings, like, in that? You know? Like, like what? what's the chance of growth? Like, they, could they do anything? I mean, obviously, I'd want them to live, but, like, what kind of life would it be, you know? Like, for them to grow up knowing they're, like, one of the last. And, like, that they don't get to go to college. They don't, like, maybe they could use Apollo and, like, learn all kinds of things. But, like, that's just knowledge for knowledge's sake delaying the inevitable, you know? But, like, at the same time, when I think about my younger siblings, like, that's what I, I, I would give anything for them to have that opportunity, you know? Here we go. Another one of these. Need to find the right configuration. So... I don't know. Like, it's just like, in being an adult or growing up in that, like, it would just be really... I mean, I feel like I would have... Resp I wouldn't have the medical euthanasia option because I would be able to save my family and then I wouldn't just leave them, you know? But, like, if you had that option, hey, I wouldn't blame you. I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. In. Oh, okay. There's a part missing. Maybe there's a storage area nearby. Would it. Okay, so I have. There's a lot. Um. Oh, is this for the. This is for the. This is for the storage. 
probably. Down. And then to the right. Good. I should check the door nearby. Send him up to storage. I mean, it's been so. I wonder how. I wonder exactly how. It said something like it would only take a couple, like three centuries, a little over three centuries, for like the humans to be able to come back. But what? My big thing is what happened to Apollo. Like, Apollo was supposed to like educate everybody. Found one. Looks intact. Supply crate doesn't have anything exciting in it. Like that's a big that that's something big missing, and then we have the addition of Hades, which has to be part of the Feral Plague. So maybe maybe a a a, a bit of it got out or infected Gaia. That should do the trick. Now let's get that door open. Uh -huh. Oh. And to the left. And down. Unless, oh, it's backwards. Okay. Or it's upside down. So, that one needs to be up. I thought they, like, she meant, like, the one, the, the emitter that was missing was something that, like, that had been put in backwards and she had to take out or something. So, that one's down. And this one needs to be left. One, unless, mm, okay, it's not reverse. I just, mm, mm, it's upside down, so that's actually down. I'm an idiot. Okay, it's fine. Uh, so that one's down. That one is actually left. And that one's up. I had them, I, I was like reversing them. Um, down, right, up, right, and then down, yeah. That did it. <laughs> we should have power. Aloy, Aloy is way smarter than me. So many heavy weapons laying around for me to use. Hey, how's it going? Oh, they didn't notice. It's fine. Eclipse, they're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. What do you mean, Gaia? It's up there, second floor. Can you reach it? That right there. That's it. <sighs> so much for avoiding contact. Kill the eclipse. Uh, cool. Yeah, definitely.
Oh, there's a lot of them. Set down another trap. I love traps. Can I just can I just tell you how much I love traps? Like they definitely make my life so much easier when I'm trying to take out multiple people in an area that I'm not secure in. I can just be like, Mert, and now it's time for me to set up a zone of safety. These will keep. What do you have? Nice. Don't mind me, mom. Just uh, guy, a mom, other mom. So okay, so yeah, so the, so the I feel like the Nora were pretty spot on, because they worship the mother, right? And then we have um, the Osram, who are kind of uh, maybe linked to like Hephaestus a little bit. So like I think it ended up being there's like a mother, and then like all these other, you know, they named them after the Greek pantheon, obviously. Um, and, like, the Karja worship, worship Apollos, uh, maybe, you know, like, but I don't know, maybe, maybe they just literally worship the sun. And, like, it wasn't, you know, it's not like a big deal or anything. Is that, that's not actually Gaia up there, right? Like, because that would be dumb to just stick her out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Oh, I was like, well, this doesn't look like it's supposed to be here, but this is the cultists have been here for a while, obviously. Simulation results. Uh, 
from Margo Shen. Wow, you weren't kidding about Gaia's predilection for animal morphologies. Sure, not totally ex unexpected given the rough natural terrain her bots will have to navigate, but I agree that there's something deeper going on here. Her designs aren't just functional. They almost feel like, well, tributes is the word that comes to mind. As though she's already mourning our their loss, and not just for the disappearing fauna of our time, but creatures from the fossil record, too. References to megafauna and some of her designs. So cool. Well, whatever Gaia thinks that Hephaestus will empower her to build it. I just wish we could still be around in a century or two to see what she makes. Yeah, I mean, at this, like, you get involved in a project like this, and you, you'd be, like, scientifically, like, involved. Like, man, like, this is so cool. Like, we're doing something that we've never done before. Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. Oh, is it? As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Guy with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. Waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. Oh! And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. So, like, Are also, good? yeah. Which part? It's a little technical at places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, the Thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Why indeed. So Hephaestus has been corrupted? Maybe that, that's, that's the origin point of Hades, is that Hephaestus has been corrupted? Uh, Margo, if I doubted your brilliance in the slightest, I wouldn't have picked you as the Hephaestus Alpha. You need to stop worrying about your age and communication style. I was wondering, because she, like, uses like and stuff, like a millennial does. You are who you are, have confidence in yourself, you know what you're doing. Case in point. The latest draft of your plan for the construction and stocking of bootstrap silos to store raw materials is excellent. This, combined with your design for the AM Foundry Core and the Foundry Site Selection Plan, add up to a comprehensive plan. It's time to start, so time to start construction. One detail. Consult with Aomide Okilo before you finalize the silo inv inventories. Hephaestus' first task will be to fabricate robots that will construct the waveform broadcast towers. Minerva will use to transmit the deac- <gasps> That's what the tonics are for! Because for the waveform broadcast towers, Minerva will use to transmit the deactivation codes. So any exotic materials needed for the tower should be accounted for in the inventory plan. Okay, so that's where the tall necks come from. Interesting. I got you. So if you come from Mass Effect, right? A full AI is something that makes you go, oh, you know, either either you're like, whoa, or you're like, you know, oh, cool, or both, you know, where it's like a full AI is an extremely dangerous thing. And also, like, their solution to the machine problem is to create another machine. You know what I mean? Like, at least in, in this game. Um, and it kind of was in Mass Effect 3, which is why I didn't really like the ending. Um, but um, it seems a bit odd, but at the same time, like, that they would trust an AI with this much, you know? But at the same time, like, they're trying, they're building her for a completely different purpose. She's made for creation, whereas the Pharaoh robot AI was made for destruction. So, a bit, I mean, you kind of need both. Like, creation and destruction are often in the same god and goddess figure as well. So, 
There's a balance I've to be seen made. These shapes before. In cauldrons. Were you? Hmm? But of course. The birthing places of Gaia's machines. I think I've only actually successfully I've completed two cauldrons, right? Or just one? It might be it might have been just one. Well if we're gonna be encountering big meanies. Human meanies anyway. I'm gonna pick up all the loot. Going up. Making sure nobody's hiding any 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 little tidbits in the corners. So was that modified by the cultist or was that actually here as part of Hephaestus? Oh. Can I see it from here? Nope, I can't scan through glass apparently. Oh hi. Thanks. I think this is it. This is not a bit so bad. Oh, this is not Gaia. But it, it's sealed off. Dang it. There's got to be a way inside. More eclipse. Where? Careful now. Oh hello. Oops. Ah, does he, does Silence care, by the way? He's like, careful now. But he just, he's just using me. I know he is. I can probably snipe some of these people, but I want to see what their means of egress, egress will be, ingress will be. Or I can just sneak around them? Okay. I like that option. Unless it's gonna be like, hey, just kidding. Welcome to Apollo. Shh. The collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. Wow. As a heritage professional. I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. That'd be the, that'd be the job of the is, century. Therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish and Arabic. Third, the transferal and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. What? The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation what? for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning right, modules, progressively would be ideal. leveling up their knowledge nice. and skills they will need to take control of the terror This is actually system. a really advanced that learning structure. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome. And let us begin. The gamified learning curriculum is actually being used in some situations currently, and it's actually showing incredible, like, um, <sighs> results, basically, I guess. Like, kids are learning at incredible rates things that they maybe wouldn't have been able to learn before, and they're learning them in creative ways, like, outside of the box thinking. It's not just, like, the typical, like, you know, 
U.S. you know learn by rote like blah 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 you forget it as soon as you read it again because that's the teaching model right now isn't designed to actually make um, people more intelligent it's just designed to shove information down their throats and then have them poop it back out again so but the gamified curriculums are actually showing incredible um, results on on people wanting to learn not just like being they're not forced to learn in a gamified curriculum you want to level up you want to learn things and you can choose like branches that you want to like specialize in and stuff like that and it's really interesting stuff and I'm hoping more schools pick up on it Yeah, the whole, like, DNA, like, encapsulating data in DNA is nutty. Like, what the heck? And the winner is encapsulated data. Over the past 10 days, I've performed an exhaustive review of data storage solutions, magnetic, optical, quantum, even that Eternity Tech that fast was shilling a year or so ago. But every other solution has one or more fatal shortcomings. Too heavy to transport, too massive to install in the allocated space, too power intensive over the centuries, too prone to failure, past three, five, four hundred years, etc. Encapsulated DNA will easily hold the 40 plus data bias we're projecting for Apollo. There are still many details to finalize, of course. Okay, for one thing, they decided which language to just put them into, but do they have, like, learning um, modules on all the languages of the world, like, including, like, Latin and, like, small tribal languages from, like, Africa, like, do they have modules on learning all that? Like, because that would be legit, you know? To start with, we need to select the inner material in which will embed the molecules already testing 16 candidate materials, as well as design and fabricate the power systems and sealed relic reliquaries that will keep the DNA at minus 18 degrees Celsius for a thousand plus years. So long as I assure you that it didn't factor into my design, may I confess that I deem it entirely fitting, indeed, proprietous, that we will be using the very building blocks of life to preserve human knowledge from mechanized extinction is not just ironic, but heroic. Life is the hero beating back the forces of oblivion. In any case, much to do. Until next time, peace be with you. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And that's where they, that's where they did it. Encapsulated the data. I might sneeze in a second. I'm kind of feeling like I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, of course I have to get in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, Apollo update. Over the past two months, the full benefit of our procurement of a copy of a Homer archive from Far Zenith has made itself known, and as a result, all of Apollo's key deliverables are on schedule. Apollo has. A, I was gonna say, how did they decide what to put in here too? Like that's extremely key, because they, they. I don't. Can they put everything? Everything that humanity's ever done? Like, and it couldn't be. It couldn't be too Western centric. It couldn't be too Eastern centric. You know, it have to be everything. A compendium of everything we've ever done, and the people picking it. Ugh, like, it would be so hard. Like, do you have to choose in the end? Like, I don't know. Maybe she'll tell us. Uh, Apollo's already surpassed 40 million discrete data entries and continues to grow. Because, because observer by, or, like, history is written by the, by the victors, right? You know what I mean? Like, and, and, and things can be rewritten, things can be omitted. Not even rewritten. Things that are omitted can drastically change the story of an entire civilization. The physical science modules are effectively complete with soft science modules close behind. World history, cultural data, and media archives are also on schedule. Language preservation is wrapping up a bit ahead of schedule due to the falling short of our goal to preserve 4,500 languages. I suppose the tragic early loss of Papua New Guinea doomed that goal from the outset. With attendant curricula development about to begin. Oh, I was wondering about the language thing. Oh, the entirety of Papua New Guinea lost apparently like wow an entire language and culture go a, a culture goes with a language like once you crush the language once the language is forgotten a lot of times the culture goes with it speaking of the heuristic curricula they are performing well in testing with children and adolescents demonstrating high levels of engagement with and trust in the aristotle and aphasia personae personally i find them highly engaging especially when they debate i wish half my professors had been so entertaining okay so the aristotle and aphasia personae were they created are they created by gaia or were they created by these guys See? See? It's really, really good stuff. Like, the learning models are... It's it's so fun. Like, it, it, it's, it makes learning fun. It makes it enjoyable. It makes you want to do it. It makes it so that I am an idiot. And... Didn't look. You know what? I'm actually gonna... Mm -mm -mm. Silent Hunter. 
Are you serious? Ow. Oh my gosh, this sucks. I suck. Oh wait, oh I don't have that one. You equipped. cannot hide from our wrath. How did you not trigger that one? stuck in a wall. Okay, this is... It's fine. Hey. Hey, guy. No! Why can't I hit you? Oh, sorry. Wrong once more. In what should have been a cave of wonders. Look around. See if anything is left. Don't mind me just picking up... Oh, I made too many. Okay. Excuse me, I'm so sorry for your predicament. Uh. Oh man. Oh god, I should call this one. Yes, I should definitely. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry we have to call it here. This is a bit of a longer one, so I was expecting it to at least be, I don't know, a little bit more. What is this? So we want to go to this office, but we have to get there somehow? We don't know how. We'll get there. Mm, and this is, we've been on the same floor this whole time, basically. But we have stairs going up or down, I can't tell. Anyway, this is really interesting stuff. I'm really glad we're doing the main, the main quest. We're getting some really interesting story stuff going on, so. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.